All right, welcome everybody. We're going to do a little systems of equations with substitution. If you're listening in, it's because either you need help or you just weren't paying attention in class. <laughs> okay, so it says solve the system of equations, all right? And we're going to solve using this right here. Does everybody in my class that's currently watching this video being streamed to you live? Well, actually, it's not being streamed, recorded live at this particular moment. Do you guys know what x is equal to? Negative y plus 3. Very good. So guys, right here, wherever you see an x, right there, you're going to do what? You're going to substitute this sucker right here for x. So check it out. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to put a 15. You're going to open up a big old dadgum parentheses. And inside of that, right there, where there's an x, you're going to put a negative y plus 3 right there. Then you're going to add a 31y, and then you're going to set it equal to negative 3. That's the first step when you're trying to solve with substitution. It tells us what x is equal to, and we plug it in right there. So do it right now. All right, so what does this parentheses tell us to do? It tells us we need to Distribute, that's right, good job. We're going to distribute to both terms. When we distribute, we get negative 15y plus 45. Now, if you're wondering how the heck did I get 45, because 15 times 3 is 45. Then we're going to add 31y, and we're going to set it equal to negative 3. Now, here's our equal sign. we got to look for some terms that we can combine. So hopefully you see this negative 15y can totally be combined with a positive 31y. And when we combine those, we get a total of 16y. So hopefully you see that negative 15y plus 31y equals 16y. Now what do I have right over here? I still have a what? Plus 45 equals negative 3. So then you got to ask yourself, self? How do I get rid of a 45? And my whole class said in unison, if you didn't hear them, they said, take away 45. Yes, we're going to take away 45 from both sides because my class is brilliant. Good job. Way to go. All right. So we have 16y equals negative 3 minus 45. And they're telling me quickly put negative 48 because they want me to get to, done with this problem. All right, and they're like, could you just please divide both sides by 16? Yes, I'm working on it, okay? And y equals negative 3. So what's my y value equal to? Negative 3. So right here, I'm going to put a negative 3. Now, here's the cool news, guys. The cool news, it says x equals negative y plus 3. So if x is equal to negative y plus 3, what am I going to plug in right chair? I'm going to plug in a what? Negative 3. But a negative times a negative is a... Oh, so I got 3 plus 3. And so what's x going to equal? 6. Now, what would be a mistake if a student like took this negative 3 and they plugged it in? What would be a mistake they might say x was equal to that technically it wasn't equal to? Yeah, they might put a 0 there, all right? Because they forget a negative times a negative is a positive. All right, so, okay, so. All right, so here we go. We're going to type in a 6. We're going to type in a negative 3. Hey, and if I get it wrong, if I get it wrong, it will let us know, all right? And it's my fault. But I didn't get it wrong, all right? Well, yeah, hey, I'm a, I'm a human being. I can get things wrong. So here we go. One more, guys. One more, and then we're going to stop with this particular concept and move on. So here's what I need you guys to do. Right now, in your journal, I need you guys to write. Don't, don't, don't use it. Don't use an ellipse. Don't use it. That's horrible. All right? I want you guys to put that in your journal right now. All right, here we go. Let's do this one. We're going to solve for the system of equations. And what are we using? Once again, we're using substitution. All right, so when I say y, what are you guys going to say? y equals what? x minus 1 right there. Good. We are. That's what we're going to do, man. We're going to take x minus 1, and what are we going to plug it in? We're going to plug it in where? Right there. So here we go. Negative 4x 
plus 3. Instead of putting plus 3y, you're going to open up a big old fat parentheses. You're going to put x minus 1 right in there. And you're going to set it equal to negative 2. Boom. Do it. Make it happen. Love it. Live it. Learn it. Let's go. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to use what's called the distributive property. Now, here's the great thing about these videos. You can always mute me and just watch the math. All right, but you might have to wait because I just make comments along the way because I got to entertain myself. So here we go. Negative 4x, 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And that equals what? Negative 2. All right. We got to combine our like terms now. Got to combine these suckers. We got negative 4x's. We got positive 3x's. What, what, are, the, what are these going to combine to? Right there. Come on. If you're watching, you're probably saying, uh, just negative x, man. Get on with it. All right. There we go. Well, if you got, think of it, think of it, my, one of my students asked me, how did I get this? So we have negative 4x, right? Positive 3x. So think of negative 4x as, right, as a negative and a negative and a negative and a negative. All right, so you got, how many, how many negative x's do you got? Four. And how many positive x's do you have? Three. So think of all these negatives canceling like those, and what are you still left with? Okay, yeah, so all of these, like, these guys cancel out, cancel out, cancel out. All right, so whenever you're adding things alike, all right, if you have if you have a negative x and a positive x, these are called additive inverses, and they will always equal zero. So if you had negative three x and you had positive three x, that would equal a zero. But we have negative four x plus a three x, so we're still left with a negative x. All right. Now we're just going to solve for x. So here we go. What do we got to add both sides by? Yeah, we're going to add both sides by 3. And here's what we're left with. Ready? Negative x equals 3 minus 2, which is 1. Now, if negative x equals 1, what do you guys think x is equal to? Boom, you got it. Negative 1. Perfect. We're going to write negative 1. Okay, so what do we have to plug in right here, guys? What do we got to plug in? Yeah, so watch. Watch what happens. So instead of x minus 1, I'm going to put negative 1 minus 1. And what is negative 1 minus 1? Negative 2. Just like that. So, okay, in review, before I type these in, in review, what we do is when it says y equals something, whatever y is equal to, we plug it in there. Then we distribute. After we dis distribute, we combine like terms. After we combine like terms, we isolate the variable. Either you're going to add or you're going to Subtract. And last but not least, we divide both sides by negative 1. Even though you don't see me dividing both sides or multiplying both sides by negative 1, you can do that. And then once you get your answer, you just plug it in right here and you get your other answer. See how easy that was? Super easy. Negative 1, negative 2. Boom. By the way, if you mess up, if you mess up, just click on C step by step solution. And oh my gosh, it's almost like they do the exact same thing. Crazy. All right. Okay. So that's called what? System. Systems of equations with what? Substitution. Here we go. Next one, guys. This is going to be super, super, super easy. All right. So can you guys please title this combining equations? This is going to be like a guaranteed hundred in the grade book. If you, I mean, this is going to be so easy. It's going to be crazy. Okay. All right. I'm going to pause it real quick while you guys write this down, okay? Combining equations, write those down. We'll show you how to combine them. Yeah, we're just going to add these together. Combining equations. What does combine mean? Put together, right? So check it out. If I add negative 3x and I add negative 3x, what am I going to get? Negative 6x. If I add positive 2y and I add negative 2y, what happens to these? They zero out. If I have 7 and I have 4 and I add them together, what do I get? 11. I'm not even going to say what I just heard in my class, which would be which would depress you and realize that Social Security ain't going to last for long with this generation. All right. So what we're going to do is it looks like I got what? Negative 6x and it equaled 11? I mean, that's what we got, right? Okay, uh, that's what I got. 
Hmm. Hold on. No, negative three. Okay. Should we put plus zero y? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says, what is the result of subtracting the... Okay, hold on. My bad. We didn't just combine it. We had to read. Oh, they're giving us a second chance. <laughs> that was a close one. All right, so it says, what is the result of subtracting the second equation? My bad. Can you guys write this down? We, did, we added them. Whew, that was a close one. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to do what? We're going to subtract. Ooh, that was that that was close. Guess I need to do what? I need to read. Oh, good thing, good thing, important. Subtracting. That was a close one. All right, so here we go. We're taking the first equation. All right, we're taking the second equation. What? Second equation from the first. So I have to subtract. Now, what did I do? I put parentheses. What do I? What? What do I have to do with this negative sign? I've got to do what? Distribute it throughout the whole thing. So I got. 3x plus 2y equals negative 4. And what was our first equation? Negative 3x, nope, plus 2y equals 7. So now I can just combine these. What happens? All the x's disappear. What are the y's? 4y, what's 7 minus 4? Three. Oh, it looks like they gave us a second shot. So, by the way, what, what happened when the first time? It looks like they probably said, you know what, students might just combine, they, they might see combined like terms and just combine it without reading. And so they gave us an extra, what, an extra chance. That was nice of them. Okay, so what, what should I type in now? 4y equals... 4y equals 3. Okay, so notice, did they count me wrong when I typed in the other one, when I added them together? No, they gave me a second, a second chance. Okay, let's do another one. All right, so this one we're, we're going we're gonna, to, it says add, so this one's going to be a little bit easier. All we got to do is just add these. So could you guys please write that down into your journal? going to go and pause the video. All right, so we learned a little something. This one, look, it says we need to add these equations. The other one, it says we need to do what? Subtract the second from the... First, whenever you're subtracting, make sure you put a minus and put a parenthesis around the whole thing. So we learned a little something there. Now, this one says, what is the result of adding these two equations together? So let's just add the like terms. We're just going to add them. 5x minus 2x is a total of 3x. What's going to happen to all of the y values if we just add these together? They're going to zero out, and 6 plus 8 is 14. So all I'm going to write is 3x equals 14. That's it. All right, just got to type it in. 3x equals 14. Would you guys like to do? Um, let's, let's go ahead and I'm going to see. I'm going to get one more subtracting one. You don't have to write this down. Let's just add them together. Okay. What's two plus five? Seven. Okay. What's three minus one? All right. So what two y? All right. And equals, what's negative 5 plus negative 12? Negative 17. Okay. So we have 7x plus 2y equals negative 17. It says, what's the result of adding those? We're just adding them. Let's do another subtract. Here we go. Let's do one more subtracting. We'll call it a day because right now I know we didn't do that one, the first one, very well. So it's, what's the result of subtracting the what? The second from the first. So here's what I want you guys to write down. You're going to write down x minus 3y equals 6. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take away the second from the first. So I'm going to take away the second from the first. So I wrote that down nice and neat. I put a negative. I put a parentheses around it. And what do I have to do? I have to distribute that negative to everything. So a negative times a negative is a positive. Negative times negative is a positive. Negative times a positive it makes it a negative. And then what am I going to do? Just put the other one directly underneath it. Now I can just combine the like terms. So whenever I take away, whenever I subtract, what do I do? 
I put a negative sign, and what do I do? Put a big old fat parentheses around what? Around my second equation. So make sure you're paying attention when I did that. So here we go. Last thing we're going to do is combine like terms. 8x plus one more x is a total of 9x. y minus 3y. You have a total of negative 2y. And what happens to all of these? They zero out. So 9x minus 2y equals zero is what I'm going to type in right here. 9x minus 2y. And what's that equal to? Equal to zero. And that's what I want you guys to do. Okay? So remember, we're solving with systems of equations with substitution, and we're just combining equations. That's all we're doing today. Have a good day.